Hello, my lovely paint pouring friends. Well, hopefully, um, I'm going to show you what could possibly work as a new cell activator for the bloom recipe. These are some of the testings that I've been doing, just some of them. I've done so many. Now, I don't claim to be the best at doing blooms. I'm still learning, still practicing, trying to get it all right. But I see my role <laughs> more of the tester. So varying the results there. Um, but testing the recipe, testing it, trying to make it better. So these are some of mine that I've been doing. After I put it up on Facebook, I thought I'd have a, a chance to get the video done for you before now. So I do apologise, but I'm rushing, rushing, rushing tonight because it's late at night. I've been so busy. Um, but I know people are really wanting to see what I've been using. So I'll get on and do a quick bloom and show you what I've been using and hope that it turns out. <laughs> Never do work out ever so well when you're rushing, do they? But some pretty decent results, I think. Um, so we'll see what we think. See what you think to it. I'll just crack on and get the video recorded for you. So now you've seen some of my results, um, I'll let you know what I'm using. It's no secret. It's propylene glycol. And I bought this bottle off Amazon. It was about 10, 11 pounds, somewhere like that. And that's a litre. And I've only been using it in my cell activator. So as you can imagine, that is going to last a very long time. So I, I mixed it up in this bottle, 50% glycol, 50% water. So I'll tell you some facts about glycol. Uh, now, there's different types of glycol, but to start with, do not use ethylene glycol. It's extremely toxic, so please don't get them mixed up. I'll put the link for this one that I use in the links below. It'll be in my Amazon shop. Um, so just, it's not my shop, it's just the things I recommend. So I'll leave that there so you can see what that is. And so some facts about it, it is water soluble, which we love. It's synthetic, non-toxic, it's colourless, odourless liquid that is completely water soluble. Um, it's used in personal care products, hair products, cosmetics. It's even used in foods. So I wouldn't suggest you go drink a bottle of this, but it's used in foods. So it's safe. It's used in deodorants, antiperspirants. Uh, shaving foams, all sorts of stuff. So that's that. Now, how I do it, I'm just going to quickly whiz through this because I'm really short of time today, but I wanted to get this done for you. So I'm not going to show you how to do the blooms. Um, I don't claim to be the best at doing blooms. In fact, I'm far, far from it. I'm still having to practice, practice, practice myself. So I'm only going to show you how I've had these results. Now, this is my black. And this is actually, it's not a house paint that's typically used for this, for the pillow for this. This black is my Montmartre black. Now, I do things a bit differently to most people. And I did a video, which is number 76, which shows you how I mix paints for my blooms. So my colours are um, Ultramarine Violet Amsterdam, Prussian Thalo Blue by Amsterdam, and Brilliant Green by Amsterdam. I'm just doing three colours, doing it very, very speedy. And um, my cell activator is black oxide by Amsterdam. So I mix the 50% glycol, 50% water, and then I put some black oxide Amsterdam in my little pot and mixed it to that consistency, just the normal consistency that we usually use for these cell activators. Like I said, I'm not trying to teach you how to do the bloom. I'm purely 
showing you how I use this glycol. I hope you get some good results with it. I really do. But let me know if it works for you. <laughs> now, this one might not even work. I might be doing all this and it might just go horribly wrong. So let's see. Let's see. So I can give that a quick torch because it's not house paint, it's acrylic paint. And then I put my... I've only just mixed these, so they're going to be a bit bubbly. So that's my violet, ultramarine violet. My Prussian phthalo blue, I love this colour. And my brilliant green that I've been using a lot of just lately. I love this colour. So vibrant. There. So there's my colours. That's a quick torch. I like say, only just mix these up very quickly so I could get this video out for you because I did say that I was going to do it. And then, you know what it's like. Life and work just gets in the way. So... Put my cell activator on. And then my little my little blower. Because I'm only using this four by four inch tile. I just use my little blower for this. I blow that out. So I'm sorry if you're a beginner because I'm not actually showing you all the steps to do this. I'm just quickly whizzing through it. Not the best of blows. So I'll just let that come up a bit. Let's give that a quick torch. So I'll give it a quick spin. What do you think? I know it's not the best of blooms. I'm not claiming to be the best at doing these blooms. I just wanted to show you how I do it. But, as you can see, it works. Well, it's been working for me. I really hope it works for you. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, guys? What do you think? Is it going to work for everybody? I don't know. I just know that I've had some success with it. And in here in the UK... We struggle, we really struggle to get the um, Aussie flow troll. It's not bad, it's not too bad. It's a quick, very quick one, it's because obviously, like I say, I'm short of time, so I whizzed, whizzed through it. But I don't think that's too bad for a quick one. So, what do you think? So, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out new videos. And let me know what you think to this propylene glycol. Is it our solution for the cell activator to get blooms? So I'd be really interested to see what, you've, uh, what you think, whether it works for you. I really, really hope it does. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.